Here is a 60 watt laser I borrowed from a friend of mine to test our power supply. Um, this one looks like it was damaged in shipping. One of the flyback transformers is loose, um, but everything else looks fine. Um, we don't really know what's wrong with it, but it doesn't seem to fire. Um, this one here um, seems brand new. Uh, I was inspecting it and then I noticed little pieces of glass on the inside of the tube. Uh, there you can see it. it's in the gas chamber but the uh, the water jacket seems to be fine and then when I had a look at the actual coils where the gas starts you can see right there it's cracked um, but it's attached to the water jacket for stability uh, the water jackets not cracked but the tube is and then on the end, um, it looks like the water comes from the water jacket to the back mirror and then it comes out of the, the mirror to keep the mirror cool. Um, on our bigger laser, um, it's all one piece. <clears throat> so, uh, this was broken in shipping looks like. I don't know if it's ever been used, but it was tested with a min-max power. Um, he bought it at auction at the bottom of a skid lot. He didn't need it, so he gave it to me, and I will be playing with it. This one is non-refillable. Just, um, as you can see on this end over here, it's, this is where the gas comes in, and then they crimp it off. I could probably break that off and then just um, heat weld the glass tube to it if I had to. Um, so that is where your negative attaches and your positive is on the other side. Right there. Um, this one here, even though this end isn't that necessary, I do plan on fixing it. And we're thinking of just using one of these little brass fittings. Uh, this is a Simplex, so that would go like that. Uh, I tried seeing if I could bend one of these with heat, but that didn't work. I was thinking of just sticking one of those on there and epoxying it. So what we're going to do is put one of these. Um, this is the end that actually has the, the furl and the compression nut. Um, just with the insert taken out. Put that right over top there. Aim it. And then turn this down smooth until it's a barbed fitting. And then epoxy it around there, all the way around, uh, to make it seal. It's not under any sort of pressure, so it doesn't really matter. And then just use a silicone hose to attach the two together. So, let's see if the tube even fires or not. Uh, this power supply is for 150 watts. And there's a, another one over there. And that's our 300 watt uh, laser that's broken. Broken in shipping. And uh, here's what we came up with. This is a machine fitting right here. Uh, this is a machined barbed, um, barb rather, and then that slides into the broken glass piece. And then that's going to get epoxy to the glass, and then hopefully we won't have any leaks. Um, like already mentioned, this is a very low pressure, so we're just trying to keep everything in place and keep it from sweating all over the place, and hopefully keep it from sweating all over this connector, which may or may not have 50,000 volts going through it, give or take which could go all over the place. Um, so let's epoxy and see how it goes. Uh, this is the repaired uh, tube already installed. Um, the repair seems to be good. The epoxy has set. Uh, we've got it hooked to the known good power supply. Um, that's it next to the uh, 300 watt. So we got both ends hooked up. 
we've got just a block for it to fire into if it does fire if it does actually work we just got a, a bucket of water here uh, with a pump in it uh, all the lines go to uh, we're not going to run the chiller well we are going to run the chillers but not for this and we're going to give it a test fire so hopefully it works uh, plug it in and it fills up First we have to plug in the voltage uh, doubler, turn it on, so the chillers. I'm not going to circulate those. Huh? I'm not going to circulate those. You have to turn them on. Oh, right. Power supplies won't fire. I'm going to activate the machine. Okay. Up one, right? Why? That power, that power source. Isn't that the one that's plugged in right now? This one's the one that's plugged in. Okay, so this is the first test fire of what we believe to be the bad power supply. Um, we're going to hit it at about 10% power. Go ahead. It hit. Mm -hmm. We got light. Okay. Hit it again. Yeah. Hit it again. Hold it. We're good. It's fucked up. Yeah. This is what we believe to be the bad power supply. Hit it again. Yeah. We're getting lazing. Um, bump it up to 20%. Not the minimum, maximum. Max yeah, power. Max. Yeah. 20%. Fire. Press and hold it. Perfect. Fascinating. Which means that our big tube is fucked. 30% then? Um, it's a 60 watt tube, so we can take it up to 50, 60%. 30%. 30%? Huh? 30%, because that's 150 watt. Uh, yeah, it's 150 watt. This is a 50 watt tube, so we can only take it to about. Well, it takes 70 watts. Yeah, so but it's a 60 watt. 25%, well, 30%. Uh, just as some sort of outro, um, I decided that uh, you know, we just go with uh, what we're going to do with this thing. Uh, we, I decided to, uh, well, my brother actually uh, designed a mount for the laser. Um, so this one here is a 60 millimeter diameter. The laser tube we have now, the 60 watt, is a um, 50 watt, uh, sorry, 55 millimeter diameter. Um, so we just designed this little guy in SketchUp. Uh, so we're going to have a through nut right here. Uh, we're going to drill down here and just have a bolt here. And have another bolt and a nut right there. Uh, we're going to pad the inside with some sort of um, hard foam or something. Um, and uh, yeah, I may as well mount it for now. Uh, this will be good enough for the moment. Uh, we're going to have the laser cut its own mount later on. Uh, that'll be good enough for the time being anyway uh, just so we have a working laser and we can go ahead and do our production what we need to do uh, you have no idea how hard it is to actually order gas online it's 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 impossible um, it's just my god um, not online but in person nobody wants to sell you the bottle um, if they do want to sell you the bottle they want to sell it to you at like a million dollars um, it's very hard getting pretty pure stuff, uh, like you can't get 99% um, uh, pure um, hydrogen, you can't really get uh, really pure nitrogen either, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, so 
anyway, we do plan on repairing it. I'm gonna we're I'm using a couple friends to try and get me some gas. There might be trading some stuff for it or something, but one way or another, we're gonna get some gas. You know, uh, we're gonna get this laser fixed. Uh, I haven't seen anybody online other than a couple of like uh, Vietnamese guys fixing lasers. Uh, so there's no information as to what percentage is going there. We'll figure it out. You know, I'm a smart cookie. Um, and uh, yeah, buy a laser, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Lots of fun. So much fun.